G'day everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a kit review. So in Australia we've got our Aldi store and every now and then they have specials on and they've been doing Revell kits and AMT kits a lot lately. So I'm going to review this one here. It's the Revell Kenworth W900 Aerodyne. Um, they did a, a week of truck kits and we got these for like like $39.95. In Australia, that's really cheap for a model kit, especially a truck kit. They also had these ones there, which is the Peterbilt one. Um, they're just like a snap kit kind, pretty much. So I've built this one before, and I'll show you. I built this truck with it before. It's very dirty, but um, I never built a truck before, so I've decided to modify this. It's got a roof chop, and I've extended the um, the chassis here. It's starting to fall apart. It lives out in one of my dioramas. That's why it's so dirty. Now, I'll get the kit for you. I've already cracked it open because I've been playing around with it a fair bit. Um, but I've only taken the wheels out, so I thought I'd... Um, it's too big. <laughs> So give us a sec, I'll just put it around here again. We'll get the first part out, um, which is the body. I haven't actually opened this yet. So we're both checking it out first time together. Okay, so we've got the body here. This is the cab with the sleeper on it. If I get names for these things wrong, um, don't kill me, it's, I'm not a truck guy. And America and Australia are different as we've found out many, many times. So, <clears throat> checking this out, it looks like it's molded really well. I like um, the Revell kits, they seem to, um, they're just done really well. As far as detail and stuff goes, I don't usually have many problems with building them. So this is cool. It's got all the little rivets in here and the prop, the little handles are really detailed. We've got some Kenworth badges on here. Maybe in the comments right down, if this, what they do here, this doesn't look like it's a factory sort of thing they do on trucks. Oh, it might be actually. I guess that's, I guess that's where the, oh yeah, that's where the, I think the exhaust comes out that side, or, see, that's how it's for a truck guy. <laughs> um, maybe the air cleaner comes out these, these sides. I guess that's what it is. Okay, so that's a bonnet. The bonnet's got more, some more badges on there. That looks pretty cool. Um, I'll just need to shuffle over here. Sorry about this noise in the background. I just need something to put this back inside the pull the box part. So that's that. Now, what have we got here? We've got. I'm just grabbing trees randomly out of the box here. This is the engine um, or motor. Depends what you like to call it. And it's obviously a diesel. Got a head here for it, a little turbo on the side. Um, pretty small turbo for a truck model kit. I've On the other one I built, I had a pretty big turbo. And we've got the, it's just the fifth wheel, I think that's what it's called. It's pretty nice and detailed. And the front of the engine here, that's nice and detailed as well. It's got really small rivets and stuff in it. The engine looks good. 
Maybe let me know in the comments what uh, colour the old Kenworth have on the engines, because I'm going to build this, and it's going to be all, the engine's going to be all factory. Um, I've got a really special build going on with this one. It's for a build-off. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I might even do a video of me building the kit um, and doing all the paint work and stuff. So here we have cool little dashboard as well. Maybe I'll zoom in on this one. It's got some pretty cool heaps of all the gauges in there and the buttons and stuff. That should be a nightmare to uh, to detail up, <laughs> which dashboards can be, as we all know. It's got nice wood grain pattern. I might even um, try and paint the wood grain on. I did this technique with oil paints and stuff that comes out really well for wood grain. <clears throat> might give that a go. What else we got here? It looks like a my brake master cylinder got some pretty retro looking seats here pretty fancy for a truck and what else we got that's about it obviously some wheels the wheels are really basic they just got uh some chrome caps on there cool the radiator is massive compared to what i'm used to cool so that's the engine one so far it's looking pretty good Bit more detail than a snap kit, so that's that's a good thing. And here we have um, our interior pan. So I'm not sure how much you'll see this bed. So I guess you could see it through the top windows. This bed here, so you could do something fancy on there. Sometimes you can get like velvet and do like a velvet bed in that. I've done that in bands before. It's pretty basic. We've got a bit of the some some um, patterns in the doors there bit of nice interior that's pretty cool um we've got the two the rear end so it's like the two rear axles this one looks like it's got both both rear wheels drive i've noticed on noticed on a lot of trucks only the front set of rear wheels drive this one looks like it's got the diff goes all the way through here which is pretty cool. Some mud flaps. Still, all this is molded really well. I haven't found any issues, haven't seen any issues with molding it, which is great. And we've got like a I-beam front end. I guess they still call them I-beams on semi-trailers, don't they, for these, these sort of fronts? I know they're doing hot rods. So that's pretty cool. I might have to actually lift this a bit when I'm building it. Oh, that, that was a hint. I shouldn't have given you a hint what was going on. Cool, and a nice big truck steering wheel. That's cool. What else we got here? We've got, oh. Got a few bits. We have a chassis. Or chassis, frame, whatever you want to call it in all different countries around the world. I'm not going to discriminate. <laughs> um, this looks great as well. It's got lots of detail, all the bolts in here to hold the, all this back section on. Again, this is the, I know that the exhaust comes out here because that's the same as the other kit I built. We've got some spring suspension. At the front, that's cool. Not much to clean up. I've got a little bit, bit of a tab here that it's pretty much just going to fall off. But that, apart from that, this is great. Oh, it just fell off then. Like there's no clean up at all. So maybe just sort of light sand and then just paint it. You don't have to like spend hours cleaning it, which is always great. It'd be good if the floor. I oh, know that doesn't matter because that's not the carpet, is it? That's cool. That's cool. So the next bit I found was the, I guess these are, these are the air cleaners for it. And we've got some checker plate guards to go over the back wheels. So that's pretty cool. That's actually gonna be really good because what, what I've got in mind I can 
fully make them look like metal, which is going to be great. And these little, little bit of tiny, little bit of cleanup on these here, but that's nothing. That's not the most I've seen so far. That's good. What else do we got? Um, we have a big cram tree. I'll get my knife here. I like to put the crane back in the bags until I use it. So, <clears throat> the crane looks great. Shame I'm not going to have it. I'm going to make it a bit dirty. Because this does look really good. All the checker plate in here is great. And the detail. I notice truck kits do have a lot of detail in a lot of this stuff. Um, so, kind of leave the car kits for dead as far as all this sort of chrome detail goes. That's pretty cool too, the little covers on the exhaust. Some massive tanks here, so it must be like a long range truck, I guess. As again, no idea about trucks. Big bumper. The chrome's really nice. There's not really any, like even on the edges, a little bit on the edges of the ex exhaust here where the, the two molds are joined together, but it's nothing to worry about too much. Same on the pipes here. I know a lot of guys strip this down and then detail, detail and then um, redo it, redo the chrome with like an cloud or something like that. I've done that a few times. It's not too bad. You still don't get the factory chrome look though. If you want to do a nice truck like a detailed show truck. But that, that chrome's cool. I'll just put it back in here. And here we have um another chrome one. So on this one we've got like the grill here with a cool little Kenworth logo. Bit of a checker plate. Goes behind the cab on top of the chassis, I remember. Some mirrors with nice cool big aerials or antennas. Um some nice cool rims here. Nice and chrome. You don't see many trucks around. More like a layer of chrome. Nice shiny chrome wheels. Usually all dirty. That's cool. Got some little lights and stuff. Some headlights. Again, the moulding's pretty cool. The grill's good because it hasn't. It's only been one side of the mould, so we haven't got that any mould lines or anything on that. That's great. Sorry if I'm going ahead of screen here, the camera doesn't zoom out that far, it's just my phone. That's cool. <clears throat> and I guess we're getting down to the, oh yeah, I've, I've actually got a wheel here. We've got some tyres, pack of tyres. Truck tyres are a bit weird, they got like this flat part in the middle here. We build the rim to either side and you just go Depends which way for the rears. It's got a bit of a little moulding issue. I think that sort of sucks in when you put the when you put the rim on. And here's one I built. That's a rear one. Looks pretty cool. I think you probably have to glue these on a bit. So it's kind of lifting a little off the rim. Pretty cool tyres, bit of grip on there. Got that moulding one in the middle, which really drives me crazy, but um I always sand my tyres anyway, so that goes away. Because it doesn't matter how fancy your truck is or your car, as soon as you roll it 10 feet, your tyres are dirty anyway, so you just sand them. Yeah, cool. So that's about it. Looks like a pretty cool kit. Before we go, I just found something else in the box. I didn't even think about this because I never use these. Decals. Got some cool Kenworth, got American flags. Wish they were Aussie flags, but, you know, American guys build them, so yes, he's going to have that. Um, Lightning Express. I'm, I usually don't use decals unless, only mainly the, like the badges and stuff. And just a quick bit here. I've got the instructions as well, which I forgot. Like, as I said, most of us bottom builders wouldn't even use this because it's pretty straightforward, this kit. 
the usual, usual Revel detailed uh, instructions there. It looks pretty straightforward. I don't think anyone's going to get in trouble. This would be a great kit for um, if you've got kids or some friends that want to get into it um, and they're into trucks, get them one of this. Maybe they could paint up like Optimus Prime or something. That probably wasn't a Kenworth, but you know, don't don't uh, don't get upset if that was wrong. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's got a lot of chrome and stuff on it, which is gonna be cool. Cool, that's it for say forty bucks. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Um, as I said, I might do a video, just like a time lapse sort of video of me building this project. Um, I'm going to build like a full, a full truck. I'm not sure this won't fit in the, but there's a little sneak peek of the other part of it. I'm not sure you can see that. It's a pretty long box. But yeah, there's the trailer for it. Maybe you can see it better if I go like this. Move my light. I'm trying hard to get it in frame here. So that should be interesting. And I might even be building cars for this. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Feel free to uh, share me videos if you see any you like and you want to show your friends. And don't forget, if you enjoy it or you've got questions or answers for me even about the truck stuff, like engine colors and that sort of thing, um, leave a comment and give video a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed because i'll do a fair few of these and um yeah anyway enjoy Good day.